So we have Curtis Stevens versus Endom. Curtis Stevens is the man that I give credit um, to giving the toughest fight to the fighter that nobody wants to fight, uh, Mr. Gennady Ganovkin. Now, it all depends on how you look at it because some people would say that it was Rosado. I, um, looking at those two fights, I thought it was Curtis Stevens that gave um, Gennady Ganovkin his toughest fight. Now, of course, Gennady Ganovkin was able to beat both of them, but like I said, he's the toughest man. He's the best boxer in the game right now, the most feared boxer. And you could say, well, he hasn't fought in anybody. Nobody wants to fight him. He hits like a fucking mule. But anyway, let's jump right into this uh, video. Um, a, I thought I came into this fight thinking it was going to be Curtis Stevens. I had Curtis Stevens winning this fight all the way. Um, that first knockdown was not a fucking slip. I forgot what round that was. I think it was the first, second, or third, something like that. That wasn't a fucking slip. That was a fucking knockdown. You look at it clearly. It wasn't a slip. Now, Endom was able to get a, a knockdown of his own in about the eighth round. And I had Endom winning a lot of the rounds because Curtis Stevens, quite frankly, was not able to cut the ring off and get to Endom. He wasn't using his jab effectively. And that was a big problem for Curtis Stevens. So, um, Endom wins this fight and he will go to face the winner of I think it's next week of uh, Jermaine Taylor and I forget who the other guy was Jermaine Taylor and Sam Solomon so um let me know what you thought about the fight and I'll talk to you guys next time peace I can make it better girl if it were